karma bites back. Donald Trump may be about to dish out some serious karma to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. I'm betting Prince Harry and Meghan haven't slept much since Trump won the election. Not because they're Democrats and Trump's a Republican, but because the Donald now holds their future in his hands. Because as president-elect, he now has the power to kick Harry out of America, where he and Meghan have lived since 2020. And it feels a bit like karma. Imagine the sleepless nights this petulant man-child gave the queen, his father, his brother, and Kate when he was spilling his guts about the very intimate details of their private lives and his quest to destroy the monarchy. At the time, many of us felt the royal's decision not to publicly hit back at Harry was a mistake that harmed them and their standing around the world. Harry slated them as racists and they did little to refute that. And in some corners of the globe, their silence on the subject convinced some people that maybe the royals did have something to hide. It seemed cruel and unfair that Harry and Meghan could say whatever they liked knowing the royals' motto was never complain, never explain. I always hoped one day Harry would have to face the consequences of his loose mouth and his cruel and irresponsible actions. And it's looking like the Donald might just be the man to deliver those consequences. Because, of course, both he and Meghan have trash-talked Trump in the past to the point where Meghan even branded him a misogynist and said she wouldn't want to live in the States if he was president. So, Trump might now feel totally justified in giving Harry his marching orders. Not just because he may have lied on his visa form, but because he adored and respected the Queen and he hates what Harry has done. He betrayed the Queen, he said. That's unforgivable, and I wouldn't protect him. He would be on his own if it was down to me. And if it turns out he did lie on his visa form about his drug use, he admitted he'd used cocaine, cannabis, magic mushrooms, and marijuana in his book spare. Then Trump would be absolutely entitled to kick him out. And he'd deserve it. It might make him realize that actions and lies have consequences and that just because he's a royal, he shouldn't receive special treatment where the law is concerned. Trump confirmed that this year, when he told GB News presenter Nigel Farage that Harry shouldn't be afforded special privileges if it's discovered he lied on his visa form, if he has they, the authorities, would have to take appropriate action, said Trump. Trump's son Eric has also weighed in on the drama, saying he'd be happy to see the Sussexes kicked out of America. Britain can have them back, but I'm not sure it wants them. We might not want them anymore. It feels like they're an island on their own. So America, like Brighton, seems to have fallen out of love with this pair who are seen as increasingly ridiculous on both sides of the Atlantic. Of course, the fear of deportation could be why Harry's been making clumsy attempts to re-engage with the royal family this year, telling anyone who'd listened that he'd be happy to perform a few royal duties while Kate and his father were recovering from cancer. The offer was met with a deafening silence from the palace, which clearly wants nothing to do with him. But what's also clear is that his offer had little to do with Harry wanting to make amends with his family and everything to do with the fact that he might get thrown out of America and need somewhere to go. Some royal experts have even suggested the threat of deportation is so real that Harry and Meghan should come up with a backup plan of where they'd live. One suggestion was the lavish holiday home they've just bought in Portugal, the poor Portuguese. But I have a feeling Portugal wouldn't feel grand enough for this ambitious pair.